My sister Tiffany and I set out on an epic Oregon Coast road trip. Join our adventure as we journey from Astoria down to Brookings and the many places in between. We'll see stunning viewpoints, chase gorgeous waterfalls, taste some delicious local flavors, and experience what makes the Oregon Coast so unique. Our Airbnb was on the lower level of this beachfront property, so we headed to the beach before we had to check out. We just had lunch at Leroy's Blue Whale Restaurant. The food was really good, so I definitely suggest it. The clam chowder was thick and it tasted good. We have about three and a half hours of driving today, and we're gonna make a couple stops along the way, and we're just gonna keep exploring the Oregon coast. Our first stop of the day was the Cape Perpetua Overlook. To get there, you'll head towards the Cape Perpetual Campground and follow signs to the day use area. Head up the winding road and you'll find yourself at a small parking lot. There's a $5 day use fee, but they do accept some park passes, so be sure to check out their signs or their website to know what's accepted here. We made our way to the Whispering Spruce Trail and within a couple of steps, we were at the lookout. Definitely come to the Cape Perpetual Lookout. That view was incredible. It's super high. Be careful if you have kids. I don't know if dogs are allowed, but always use extra caution. You're really high up here, but the view is incredible. We wanted to get an up close look at the view that we had from the Cape Perpetual Lookout, so we headed down the road to our next stop. We are about to go see something I have dreamed about seeing for a long time. I'm really excited about it. We're going to go visit Thorswell. We listen to immigrant song on the way so if you know what that is two points for you we are doing the short little trail down Thor's Well is best viewed at high tide to see the water draining into it. It's located in the Cape Perpetual area, so make sure to check out the other beautiful sites here too. Depending on the tide, you can go up closer to Thor's Well, but it's important to note that it can be very dangerous and deadly, so make sure that you're watching the tide and don't get too close. As always, you're exploring at your own risk here.
Before leaving the area, we made one final stop at the Cape Perpetua Visitor Center. The main building was closed due to the pandemic, but it had an amazing view and you could even see where the Cape Perpetua Overlook was. They did have a separate building with restroom facilities that were open, and we also spotted some cute wildlife in the parking lot. We're at the Sea Lion Cave, so they're open from 9 to 5. We're here around 4 o'clock, so we're going to go see if we can get in. The elevator opens up into the Sea Lion Cave and you'll walk down a short pathway to the viewing platform. Here you'll find some informative signs and information as well as a chance to view the sea lions. The viewing platform is barricaded by some cables but you can tell here that the sea lions are easy to see. Be prepared for some loud crashing waves and even louder sea lions. I'll spare you from the rest of the noise and add some music here so you can just enjoy the view. Once you've taken in the amazing view of the sea lions, head up the stairs to get a beautiful view of the Hasita Head Lighthouse. That was a little different than I expected, but I super loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun. You could hear them, they were really loud. You have to go down an elevator to get to them, but it was really cool to see them. So this is definitely a good stop. It was $16 per person and you get some really cool views and experience. We are at the Darlingtonia Nature Trail. It's only 0.1 miles, but we're here because there's a special plant, the Darlingtonia, that looks pretty weird, so I wanna see it. like snakes with their tongue sticking out which is probably why they're also known as cobra lilies. Most of the stuff we wanted to do today was during the northern part of our drive which meant we still had about three hours left to drive today. 
It was getting late and we didn't want to get to our accommodations after sunset, so we began our long drive and cut out all the other stops except for dinner. Tammany picked a restaurant that was a little bit off the highway, so we're taking a little detour to go get the food because we already ordered it, so we're stuck with it. But just, you know, when you're um, picking restaurants, make sure that it's along the highway. By that point, we had pretty much given up all hope at arriving before sunset, so we stopped for gas. I know I mentioned it in a previous video, but if you missed it, in most places in Oregon, it's illegal to pump your own gas, so you have to have the attendants do it for you. <laughs> It's really cool looking. I'm excited to see the view in the morning because it's pitch black out, but it is time for bed and so we will check it out in the morning.